Hey doggy people, Sue here. I want to show you how to make this cute little decorative dog necktie today. And for this project we need one length of ribbon that's approximately 300ml long and a shorter length that's 150ml and I've got some 7ml wide strips now these thin strips are to tie um, the necktie at the back I've got two shorter lengths of 30ml and that's what's that that's about 10 mil wide, that one. Um, I've got glue stick. I've got a lighter to seal the edges of the ribbon. I've got scissors. I've got decorative bits. They're optional, you might not need those. And some pins. Okay, so here we go. First of all, I want to make a bow to set in the front. So we take the shorter length of ribbon, put a dab of glue on the end, fold it in half, so you've just got a little loop like this, and then pinch in the middle. and wrap a loom band. I've just got a little white loom band. Just wrap a loom band around the middle. Okay. Just give it a little fiddle till you're happy with it. And then I'm going to take a piece of the pink ribbon wrap that around the centre and take the hot glue and put a dab on there and stick that down. Just need to be careful that you don't get that on your loom band because your loom band will break. The hot, um, the hot glue then just melts it. Okay. So that's a little decorative ribbon for the centre. You can add an accessory if you wish. I'm going to pop that on there. That's pretty. I'll pop that on there. I bought this accessory. You can pick them up at cheap craft supplies, um, dollar store, places like that. Okay. So leave that to one side for now. And to make the, um, the lacy part, start off by taking a length of lace. Um, this is 600 millimetres long. And I'm going to pin it at one end. And then you need to make a little plate. Oh, about 25 mil in approximately. You don't need to measure this, I just do this by eye. So just keep pleating it and pinning it along the top edge of your ribbon. And you can buy this ribbon as wide or as narrow as you want, really there are no rules. Just whatever's available at your local craft store. And just pin and pleat. Pin and pleat. A little bit fluffy. That's okay. You can just glue it straight away. It's just the hot glue. Even though I'm using low melt glue, it's So it's completely up to you anyway. So, take the first pin out. 
dab of glue on the back and then I'll pop the pin back in just to hold it down. The next pin out, blob of glue, pop the pin back in and so on. Just keep working your way down. See this glue. I mean, if you'd rather, you could you could always just pleat it and stitch it. Because I know that a lot of you don't like sewing. That's fine. Just a nice alternative. But yeah, it's, it's easy enough to do exactly the same with the pleats. Pleat it, pin it, stitch it. Now, I don't tend to um, give these ones away because these are a little bit more time consuming than the other bows. So I'll use these purely for photos for the dogs when I finish grooming them. It's up to you. Again, it's completely up to you. I'll do this one without a pin. You'll see me cry. Of course you won't. <laughs> Just keep going until you reach the very end. Almost there. Just one more to do. Final one. Bottle of pin from the front. There we go. And then just trim off the excess. So there we go. Pinch plate, pinch plate, pinch plate gluing as you go. So you end up with this. And then take all the pins out. They will come out, they're a little bit stiff. Glue everywhere. There we go. And then turn it over and I'm just going to heat seal the edges so just very lightly run that through that in through a flame that'll just stop it from fraying actual fact careful you don't catch the lace should have done that first actually there we go and then I'm going to take a length of the tie and a dab of glue and fix that just in the center on the end. A dab of glue, fix it. Take the short length, a dab of glue either side of the tie and just fasten that across there. And that'll just secure that tie, so that's going nowhere. Then we're going to do the same at the other end. So a dab of, dab of glue in the centre, take your tie, 
pretty tight over the glue and then a double glue either side of the tie. There we go. Okay. And then turn it over again. And then all we need to do is add the bow. So put double glue on the back. Now you can put this wherever you want, but I like to offset it slightly. So I'm not going to put it in the middle. I'm going to put it to one side. That again, personal choice. You can pop it exactly where you want to pop it. And that's it. And then just fold around and tie off at the back. Like that. Thanks for watching. Have fun.